He screeched as he held the two pieces of his bloody cheek together. You little bitch! He snarled and screeched. He could see his sharp teeth behind his gray, snarling lips, his pale gray, clammy skin scrunched together as he narrowed his eyes and clenched his jaw. He looked so fragile, so sick with greed. His legs, arms, waist, along with everything else, were so skinny it made me feel uncomfortable just to look at it. God damned heavenly reaver! He spat. The hatred spewed out of him in a current. No need to flatter me, Maman. The rush of a fight flooded into my veins. I let the tip of my blade rest against the ground. There was no way he could beat me. I was the new kid on the block, but I was stronger. Possibly stronger than all of them combined. It will be a great pleasure to kill you all over again, I said with a sick smile on my face. I lifted the blade and swung hard and fast. Maman's torso hit the ground. I heard a deep chuckling behind me. Was that good, Inuku? I looked behind to stare at the man behind me. If you could even call him a man. He was of no abnormal body structure, something that would make you experience true fear. Eight feet tall and pure muscle, his foot-long black hair stood at the top at, at end at the top of his head while the other pieces of his hair still hung at the side of his face like he styled it the way every morning of his life. He wore heavy boots, along with dark red leather pants stained with blood, making them seem to be of maroon color. There was no shirt. His right arm was healthy and strong, as well as normally sized, though his left arm was the opposite. It hung like a hook all the way to the middle of his calf. Both hands had long fingers that were tipped with massive claws, the left being longer than the right, a lot longer. Every part of this being was a weapon, made for killing, then eating. It's even said that if you look into his eyes, that itself could be the death of you. He was a pure lupin spirit, resulting in his body being covered in needle-like fur, and a tail that could squeeze one harder than any snake could. Nice shot. He said in his usual growling tone. I smiled and looked at the grass as I slowly began to walk toward him. Pretty funny how I can beat the crap out of your old man so early in the game. <laughs> his eyes fell upon me. Don't forget, little shit, that it's still my job, he countered. I giggled. I was happy how this was turning out. Chapter 2 I sat in the red booth at the diner. Inuku sat cross-legged, hanging from the ceiling behind me, careful to avoid the wings on my back. I picked up my sandwich and glanced at my friend Michael from across the table. He sat there, skimming his fork across the table. So, your wolf been doing okay? I asked him. He looked bothered and sighed. I haven't heard from him in a while. His eyebrows pushed together in worry. He glanced out at the floor beside the table. Just watch, <laughs> I said with a sandwich almost touching my lips. It will come out with full force blow. He breathed roughly, hinting at an attempt at a laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm worried about. He shifted in his seat. He looked me in the eye. I stopped to give him the attention he was demanding. He then continued to say, I can barely stand it. As it is. You know how close I've come to almost killing my family? What if I black out, then wake up and my whole family's dead? Scattered across the house. I took my eyes away from him to look at my sandwich, then glanced back at him. He was still staring at me through his short, curly brown hair. I gave him a sympathetic look. Your reaper demon isn't helping you that much either. I looked and saw Inuku at the end of the diner, sniffing and staring at some really poor human right in the face. He was such a dork, always looking for a meal. No, no it's not, he responded while leaning back. Gah! I was frustrated at the fact that he was what he was, and nothing could change that. I wished there was some way for him to escape his family, but he was still underage. 
He didn't have it e as easy as I did. Somehow I was blessed with something more powerful to make up for the demon wolf inside this body. I mean, reaper demons are bad enough. They're a nasty type of demon. A lot, a little more than the others. They are feisty, and they never give up. They may not be the first to attack, but they make up for it in high defense. They are also troublesome for anyone that wants to consume them for energy, like myself. But Michael is also wolf. That only makes matters worse, or hell for that matter. Us wolves are protective, arrogant, bold, defiant, and stubborn. Mix the reaper and the wolf, and you have a ticking time bomb with the impact of a nuclear. Though, it's nice to see something inside him try to muzzle all those destructive feelings. I guess that's why I'm his friend. You know, you're lucky you have your angel, he suddenly not added. I nodded along with what he said, cursed myself for never knowing what to say to his situation. Michael's point of view. I looked around the diner to see all these humans. My wolf was thinking of chasing every one of them down, tearing into their throats, making them just another meal to me. They were all so insignificant. My reaper demon was convinced they were all pieces of shit to be obliterated. He would love to stomp every one of them out of existence. It was common knowledge to all of us, other kin, or inhumans to hate humans, but the truth is, we're all just jealous. They had such simple lives, and simple problems, nothing like the problems we face. They don't get hunted, or killed like we do. They don't have to fight for their lives like the Heavenly Reaver across from me had to. She had to fight for her life every day. So did I. Damn hunters. Damn demons. We all have...